everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. Before we begin, I would love it if you guys would hit that like button. It absolutely helps out the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. Um, I'd love to have you guys here all the time. That would be absolutely awesome. We're going to be taking a look at something new on the table today, which is actually dirty, so I apologize for that one. Let's do a little wipe off here, make it a little cleaner. Um, this is the Sativian ST144, and I am loving this little thing. Um, I'll tell you right off the bat, these go for $29.99, and that is such a good price for these. Sativian just makes some awesome knives. Now, with this, each knife, now I'm going to give you uh, four different versions that they have. This is going to be the black with the G10. You can also get uh, a brown micarta, a green micarta, and a jade G10. So you do have options. Now, each one of those does come with 14 C28 blades. So each one is going to have the same blade, but you are going to have the option to have different colors and different materials, which is really nice. And Sativian kind of does that, which is, I, I really like that. This one I like, um, I, I love this little pop of color here, this little bit of blue on there. It just makes it look so nice. All right, let's get into it. As I said, it's 14C28. This one happens to be the black G10. Very smooth, but grippy. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it does have a good grip to it. The nice thing about this is um, your scales are a little bit rounded so if you can see let's see I'm gonna see if I can stand up and see this a little better so it's just a tad bit rounded it's not flat which gives it almost a pen like feel to it is is a good way to explain it you guys, I apologize you guys I've given the dog a rib bone and she's over there chewing on it so if you can hear that I do apologize but she's very happy with it right now all right um, back to this. So it is a liner lock, as you can see. Comes very well centered. I don't think I've had a Sativian that has not come completely, like, just on point centered. Your lock up on this one is going to be about, mm, we're going to call that about 40%. Yeah, 40%. Yeah, that sounds about good. Now, this one does run on bearings, so it is very smooth. It's not drop shutty by any means, but it is a very smooth knife, and I do like that. Sounds good. It's got a great snap to it. Let's get closer so you can hear that. Got a great snap to it. I really like that. Um, they kind of have this, this beveling or this milling or the way they've you know, done their blade just to kind of give it a little pop of elegance, I will call that. I don't know if that's what you want to call it, but that's what we're going to call it for now. Um, you do have the ability to put a lanyard on the back here if you so choose. And then your backspacer is going to be um, jimped or have, you know, kind of a jimping. Now, you do have a deep carry clip, which is really nice. Um, it was a little bit of a hot point for me. Uh, because it does sit higher. But my main gripe about this, and the only gripe I have about this knife, is that your pocket clip is not nested into the scales. It is still, you know, it's because their pocket clips are really thick, um, it does sit above that. But the biggest issue I have is the fact that the uh, screws are not nested or not into the pocket clip itself or not nested into the scales either. So... Over time, this is the kind of pocket clip that I say can sometimes tear up your jeans um, or catch. So when you go to pull it out, um, it could be an issue. Now, I didn't really have much of a problem. As I said, I always carry these in the back pocket, also on my waistband, and also in my front pocket. So I can see, you know, comfort-wise how it is. Now, when taking it off my waistband, I did notice that it did grab a little bit. Um, and that, to me, was because of those screws there. But otherwise, that is not a, 
like a, a, that's not a reason for me not to get it. So um, I just am a little more careful with where I carry it so that it doesn't, you know, thrash my front pockets anyway. Um, as always, we use it on, you know, not super heavy duty use because we don't have anything that we need to use it heavily on. But let's go ahead and take some size comparisons on this one. So we're going to compare it to the bug out here. As you can see, it is just the same size. I mean, maybe even a tad if we if we butt it up, butt to butt. Yeah, you're you're basically the same size. Now, it's definitely a slimmer design as you can see, but because of the way that they've done those scales, a little bit of that rounding on there, it does give you a thicker um, handle, so it feels it feels like it's a, a little bit more of a handful, which gives you the kind of that more secure feeling when you're carrying it. Next to the Rat 2 here, you can see it's again about the same exact size, so it is going to be considered more of a small to medium size knife. We'll take a look at it next to the Rat 1 which is a large knife. So you can see where that stands. It is definitely a smaller size. Um, we'll take a look at it in my hand. You can see here holding it this way. Um, I have small hands. So if you have small to medium size hands, this is going to be good for you. If you have larger hands, um, it might be okay, but you might it might be more of a three finger knife for you. I'm not quite sure. Hey, Therapeutic Edge. Can I borrow you for a second? Sure. Uh, yeah. would, would you put this in your hand for a moment and just show us? I'm saying it's very small. It is. I mean, it, it rolls off. My pinky rolls off. Okay. The so, yeah. So, if you do have large hands, you are not going to, you know, you're going to lose that pinky on there. If you have small to medium-sized hands, it's going to be very comfortable in hand. Um, as I said, the only issue I had was a little bit of the uh, clip being kind of a hot point for me. But for the most part, um, if I wasn't cutting a lot of cardboard and, and just doing it for a while, it wasn't a big deal. But after, say, about 10 minutes when I was cutting a bunch of boxes down at work, um, it, it did get a little... A little cumbersome, a little bit showy in the hand there. So, but you know, it's a beautiful piece. It works really well um, for the price. As I said, it is only basically twenty nine ninety nine, so it's thirty dollars. You can't go wrong for thirty dollars. And Sativian makes a fantastic knife. So if you're looking for something that's budget friendly, um, Sativian's a great line to check out. And you're not going to worry about losing the knife, breaking the knife, whatever. Yes, a lot of people say they would rather spend more money and get an expensive knife so they know it's not going to break. But that's no guarantee that it's not going to. There's no guarantee that just because your knife, your knife costs more that you're not going to lose it. I know personally, um, carrying a $30 knife once in a while if I'm going somewhere um, where there is the possibility that I'm going to lose it, I'm definitely going to carry something like this because if I do lose it, I'm just going to be like, oh, well, that's okay. I can get another one. And it's not so bad. So budget-friendly is absolutely awesome. Sativian makes a fantastic knife. Um, the quality that you're getting for $30 is just, it's outstanding. It's really, really good. I'm going to leave a link for you guys down in the description area. So if you want to grab one of these, you absolutely can. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down in the comments section. You know I try to answer each and every one of you. Again, this has been a look at the Sativian ST144. I thank you so much for joining me, you guys, and until next time.